Hey guys, this is going to be the last video before Tribe Fest um, that has to do with Tribe Fest. After the last one, I actually got a bunch of questions posted, so I thought I'd go ahead and try to answer some of those. And I also got some more information from my season ticket holder rep. So I'm just going to go over the last few tips and tricks as far as the uh, Tribe Fest goes. So there was a little bit of confusion. I'll just start with the tickets. Um, so you buy a general admission ticket separately. Any other event that you want to go to, you have to buy a ticket for individually. And what I mean by that is like any autograph sessions, if you want to go to one of the photo opportunities, um, the all-star session, all of those have individual tickets for each session you're going to. All of those are going to be in your ballpark app. Um, they're all going to be totally separate. They're going to get scanned totally separate. So how it's going to work is pretty much just like a game when you first get there. You're going to go in through the front doors to the left they're going to have metal detectors they're going to have little tables where you put down your bags just like the game they're going to search your bags they're going to walk through the metal detector they scan your ticket you go down the uh escalators and then you go into tribe fest so then that's your main general admission ticket once you scan it once you're in you're done with that ticket they usually give you like a hand stamp if you're going to leave and come back that was another question um, I believe you can do that. Um, the other one, the dress about tickets is you have a individual ticket for each autograph session. So they're in these ballrooms at the convention center. So there's like a normal double doorway. Um, it's all blocked off and then there's another ticket taker. They're going to scan your ticket for that autograph session. So you scan that, you walk in, you wait in line. Once you get closer to the front of the line, they'll ask to check your ticket again. They won't scan it. They just want to make sure that you have a live ticket for that correct event. So that's it when it comes to tickets. Um, you can buy tickets for general admission the day of. They do not sell any autograph sessions at the actual Tribe Fest. I reached out to my season ticket holder rep. She said they are not selling them at the um, <clears throat> Tribe Fest itself. And they also don't know who's going to be in what sessions because they're going to rotate throughout so they honestly have no idea so that's it when it comes to tickets um the player list i'm actually going to list below who all is going to be there um you can also see that on the indians website uh, but there's a huge list of people that includes alumni and past players all the activities that they have scheduled are going to be the alumni autograph ticket session general autograph ticket sessions um, there's a photo opportunity ticket. So with that, that's $40. Um, the players participating in that are Bieber, Carrasco, Perez. He might only be for the AM session because I did not see a ticket there for him today for the afternoon session, which is the 1.30 to 7.30 Tribe Fest. Um, and then Tito is also going to do that. With that session, you get one photo with that person. It says they give you a professional photo and they also... Um, you can take it with your phone. Now, a couple years ago, they had where you could get a picture with the trophy, which is what I did. Um, they took a photo, and then they also texted it to you, and it's a high-quality picture. So I have a feeling that's going to be kind of how that is. Um, they also put on here that in those uh, photo sessions, no autographs are allowed during the photo sessions. They're going to be there all day. They have a lot of like fans to see, so they're not going to let you double up on that sort of thing. So... If you already bought that, I apologize if you were thinking you were going to get an autograph, but it is just a photo that you're getting. Um, the All-Star Autograph Ticket, there were some questions about this as well. So that's $75, and on the website it actually says that uh, you are guaranteed at least two former All-Star players or managers with the purchase of an All-Star Ticket Session. So, All-Star Autograph Session, whatever. Um, so it doesn't tell you who's going to be in there. It says you're going to get at least two. If it's only two, I think that's not a very good deal for $75 personally. Someone had a question about the alumni session. If it is the same players throughout the day, yes, it's going to be those four players that are listed in, in the list below are going to be there for every alumni session that you see scheduled. Uh, they don't rotate out or anything like that. So last year there were actually three people. Um, this year there's actually four. One of which is a repeat though because Len Barker was there last year. Which brings me to my next informational piece uh, or answer to a question. Um, you, When you buy your autograph session ticket, there will be three or four tribe players sitting at the table. They are going to sign one of your items. So you can't, for instance, you can't bring in a baseball and a baseball card and have each player sign both of those. 
if you plan on attending TribeFest in the future, what I did is buy a giant flag and I have all the players sign that and then every year I take it back. Now, when I get repeats, for instance, I have quite a few signatures on there. So um, as an example, I'm going to bring my flag and I'm going to bring some baseball cards of the players attending just in case I already have their autograph on the flag and they can sign the baseball card. So let's say I just go into a session with Jose Ramirez, uh, Tyler Naquin, and Carlos Santana. I already have Naquin and Santana's autograph, so I'm going to bring into that session my flag to have Jose Ramirez sign. And he will sign that only, and then I'm going to go to Tyler Naquin and have him sign the card only, and then I'm going to go to, I don't even remember who else I said, Carlos Santana, and have him sign his card individually. So one ticket is one autograph per person, per item. You cannot bring in three baseballs and have all three players sign all three of them. That's not going to happen. And they do monitor that. And they also say no selfies, but you can kind of sneak one in, and I've mentioned that in my previous videos which I'll link at the end of this video. Um, something I recommend, like I said, is bringing some stuff to have them sign. Uh, if you forget or you like just, my buddy always forgets to bring like a baseball or something extra. Okay, I do recommend picking up something extra for them to sign, maybe a couple items. Um, the team shop at the stadium is open on Saturday, 10 to five or 10 to six. I can't remember which one it is. Did I write it down? The team shop's open at 10 a.m. It's a six minute drive from the convention center to the team shop, or it's a 17 minute walk, which doesn't sound like that bad, but it's going to be freezing. So keep that in mind. Tower City also has a lot of hat stores and a lot of stuff that sells, excuse me, a lot of places that sell Indian stuff. Um, so that is a 13 minute walk uh, from the convention center. So that's where Tribe Fest is. That's why I keep mentioning it. Um, the Cleveland Clothing Company has some kind of unique stuff. They have some Indians books and some like unique things, signs, uh, like pictures. You can get like they had a 22 Wind Street picture that I have framed in my office. Um, that's only an 11 minute, excuse me, 10 minute walk from the convention center. And then I just recommend stopping at GB Art while you're downtown. Um, it's 16 minute walk from the, from the convention center. I keep wanting to say stadium, from the convention center. And they're open 11 to six. So even if you wanna go, if you're going to the morning session for Tribe Fest, Maybe hit them up afterwards. Um, they have really great stuff. Or if you're looking for something special to sign, like you really want to get Jose Ramirez's autograph, or you want to buy one of those t-shirts to wear before you go in, yes, wait, Jose, stop there on your way <coughs> before the afternoon session. One other weird thing that they're doing this year is goat yoga, and I think that's really strange that they're doing it, but they keep mentioning our own goat even might appear, which they're insinuating as Jose Ramirez. He might show up and do this yoga. It starts at 1.30 and it goes till 2.30, so it's right when the afternoon session of Tribe Fest starts, and it also says they recommend you bring your own yoga mat if you're going to try to do that. I know people have done goat yoga, and you will stink the rest of the day, so just a heads up on that. It doesn't cost anything extra. They're only doing it for an hour, so I mean, if it's something you really want to do, get in line for that. Um, some of the other stuff they have is they have all these activities on the main stage, so sometimes they'll pick people to play games with the tribe, different members of them. Um, they have batting cages, baseball diamonds, speed pitch, a bunch of stuff like that, and then they have honorary contracts and tribe exclusives. Oh, one other thing I wanted to mention about buying merchandise to take in to sign. So they do have like a mini team shop in Tribe Fest. So if you are going to the season ticket holder one in the morning or you're going to the afternoon one and you are a season ticket holder, they do take your discount there. Um, they do have some really neat things that they don't have all the time at the actual team shop downtown. So they'll have a lot of used bats jerseys they kind of bring like you more unique stuff for you to get to uh, have autographs some like bases and things like that and last year they had the big banners that hang outside the field that have the different players on them and then they had ones that said rally together so my friend did buy one of those it's really cool but it stunk terribly because it had been outside for an entire year so um i think that pretty much sums it up if you guys have any other questions please drop them down below I think this video pretty much wrapped up the last of it, and like I said at the end of this video, I'll link all of the rest of the TribeFest videos I have made, which should cover any and all questions, and also, don't forget to hit subscribe, and I really appreciate those who have, you, who have already subscribed. We have a lot of cool stuff planned for this year as far as like informational videos and tips and tricks. 
uh, for tribe related and baseball things and we're going on a couple of road trips to check out some other stadiums so I really appreciate you guys watching if you want to see more please subscribe and check out my other videos and again I listed all of the players who are coming below so make sure to check that out and I'll see you on the next one